Hello, it's Agent Harp 11 out here on the bike trail today. The washout that had occurred during that last rain. The, this chunk of asphalt uh, that makes up the portion of the trail has, has just given way. So what they've done is they've come in here with uh, some big machinery and they've just kind of gouged out the slope up to the bike trail where the orange barrier is. And they're putting in gabions. They're basically cyclone uh, galvanized steel mesh boxes that uh, are placed on the slope. The gabions are filled with rock and you end up with a pretty solid uh, slope retention. Uh, mechanism it is uh, probably about six feet uh, long, about four feet tall. They've scooped out a footing uh, in the shale, and then these gabions they just lay in here, and they tie them together. They're tying them together. Um, they're going to bring the rock down from the top that just gets dumped from the quarry, bring it on down, fill up the gabions, start at the bottom, and work your way up. This has been um, an eyesore and a danger on the bike trail for about a year now, and it's finally getting repaired. So uh, congratulations, kudos to this project. Pretty noisy today. They got the bobcat going up the slope to get the rock. The track hoe takes a scoop of rock. places it inside the gabion. But it's going pretty quick. They've got one course installed and now they've got the second course laid on the, on the first course and it's now being filled with stone. After the stone is dumped inside the gabion box, a couple of workers inside the box organize the stone to be stacked like a dry stack method. So here we have the workers inside the gabion box stacking and organizing the stone to be flat and stable. An incredible amount of stone, but it will not move. It's starting to look real clean. Got kind of a natural creek bed down there. Uh, the first gabion is actually buried and then the third course. And it looks really tight. It looks nice. These guys are doing a great job. And now they're placing the cage on top of that segment. and they climb ever so higher to the to the top here which is still quite a bit up and then we still have all of this slope going down to where they are working today you can see by the scale of the workmen that the wall is progressing They've got a row of uh, chop block and then a row of the uh, crushed limestone behind there. This is quite a project in that it's just a lot of fill. It's a lot of earth and stone and uh, designed to hold back the uh, waters in that creek. This is uh, at the end of the day the crew has gone home and their handiwork is forever left behind.
And so I come back the next day and I've noticed that they've capped off the uh, crushed limestone with the sandstone, the blocky sandstone. The stone gabions complete. Uh, quite a project. They've done four courses of the gabion, stone gabion, and then they have a slope, a sloped area, about a 45 degree slope, and then at the top of the slope they're putting in the uh, CMU masonry units, actually continuing an existing masonry wall, and they're just bringing it on down. And so here we have the concrete masonry units on the pallets. These are the blocks that are used to construct the retaining wall. They're getting close to the elevation of the trail. And the retaining wall, the CMU retaining wall, is holding back the earth that will be the trail bed. As you can see, the geotextile fabric is going to be sandwiched between the CMU units. The geotextiles are basically the kind of the dead man. And so, you know, road-based gravel is filled inside the cavities of the CMU block. The area below the uh, fence posts has been uh, set in concrete, solid concrete, and then we have right here where the concrete has yet to be poured. And we are so close to finished grade here, and the trail will continue on. First layer of asphalt. Asphalt is typically applied in layers, smeared on, a, a lot like icing on a cake, and then you just keep layering it up until you get to your final, final grade, which will be at the top of this curb here, so there's still a few layers to go. The bike trail is finished. And I'm moving onward through the construction site that has been all but finished and healed up. We've got native grasses, the gabions down below. Hey man, I'm rolling. Everything is smooth sailing now.